Welcome to my video on how to import books and publications to the USA. I'm going to be going over the steps involved in the process, as well as some of the things you need to keep in mind. Find a supplier. The first step is to find a supplier of the books or publications you want to import. You can do this by doing a search online, or by contacting a book distributor. Once you've found a supplier, you'll need to get a quote for the books or publications you want to order. Get the necessary permits and licenses. Before you can import books and publications into the USA, you'll need to get the necessary permits and licenses. These requirements vary depending on the type of books or publications you're importing, so it's important to do your research and make sure you have everything you need. Prepare the shipment. Once you have the necessary permits and licenses, you can start preparing the shipment. This includes packing the books or publications correctly, and making sure you have all the necessary documentation. Ship the books or publications. Once the shipment is ready, you can ship it to the USA. You can do this by air freight, sea freight, or parcel post. The method of shipping you choose will depend on the cost, speed, and size of the shipment. Clear customs. When the shipment arrives in the USA, it will need to be cleared through customs. This process can take a few days, so it's important to factor this into your planning. Deliver the books or publications. Once the shipment has cleared customs, it will be delivered to the address you specified. You can either pick it up yourself, or have it delivered to your door. That's it. These are the basic steps involved in importing books and publications to the USA. If you have any questions, be sure to contact the US Customs and Border Protection for more information. Additional Tips Here are a few additional tips to help you import books and publications to the USA. Be aware of the import duty rates. The import duty rates for books and publications vary depending on the country of origin. You can find the current rates on the CBP website. Make sure you have the proper documentation. The CBP will require you to have a commercial invoice, a bill of lading, and a packing list for your shipment. Be prepared for delays. The import process can sometimes be delayed due to customs inspections or other factors. It's important to factor this into your planning. By following these tips, you can make the import process as smooth and easy as possible.